Well, thank you for participating in my project. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, could you say just a little bit about yourself? I'm Jeremy. I'm an accountant for Boston Children's Hospital. I live in Portland, Maine, here in Houston, Texas, visiting my sister for Christmas. Well, and welcome. I'm you. your sister's neighbor, so I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, did you know that NASA's plans to send astronauts back to the moon? I was aware somewhat that there were new uh, moon missions being started up again, but I wasn't entirely sure when and what they were. But yeah. um, Now that you know that, oh, we, do you have any like feelings about us going back to the moon? Something that excites you or is it just like, ah, well, I thought yeah. we should do it. No. <laughs> no, it excites me. I think I'm always intrigued by space exploration and studying outer space and I think it'd be cool to focus on Mars and seeing what's out there and but it's been what 60 years since we went to the moon last or yeah, 1969 on yeah so um, 54 years about to be 55 right, so with the advance advancements in space technology that we have that I think it'd be, you know, we were there in the 60s and now it's 2020s, so it'd be cool. I th you'd think we could get back there, so, yeah. Yeah, in fact, a lot of people are like, um, you know, since we haven't been going, did we ever go? You know, so I get that sometimes. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't believe in the, the conspiracies, but uh, I, think it, I think there are more, more beneficial reasons to go back than to disprove people that don't believe it. It is a perk. It's a plus to it. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And whenever you think out like 200 years in the future, mm -hmm. do you think by that time humanity's uh, branched out to multiple planets and have people living out in space or I think we're still just mainly here on the Earth? 200 years? Uh, yeah, I could see more like maybe space station type living situations, but I don't know about, I mean, I'm not experienced in the subject, no, but I don't know. I don't see maybe living on other planets. I think that would be, I don't think we'd have the technology to travel to a planet that could sustain human life by then, but it'd be cool. I do like, I love hearing like the studies about exoplanets and they're always looking for planets that may be able to sustain human life. It's always cool to hear about. Um, yeah, there's, you know, uh, Elon Musk has uh, SpaceX, mm -hmm. and he talks about, like, a million-person um, city on Mars by 2050, mm -hmm. and then Jeff Bezos has Blue Origin, and he talks about building these huge space structures, you know, kind of yeah. like what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, the benefit of that is you have a low-Earth orbit, easy to get to, right. fill it up with people, then take the whole thing wherever you want to put right. it, and they go all just, it'd be like a cruise, right. <laughs> an intergalactic cruise. <laughs> right. Like that show. Yeah. That show oh yeah. Uh, Maroon Avenue, uh, Avenue, Avenue Five. five. Yeah. yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it would more serious than that. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Um, if you could, would you take a trip to space? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It depends on how safe it was. It depends on. Yeah, I guess like the length and the length of the journey and where it was going because you know I mean, you know you read things about the effects that space has on your body uh, over long periods of time so that, I, I wonder about that but have a three-day uh you know to orbit and back yeah maybe yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> who knows well that's cool yeah. uh well thank you jeremy yeah. i really appreciate you participating yeah. in my project thank you thank you <laughs>